This is Mike from Dynamic Point. Today we're going to be going through our Office 365 SharePoint invoice automation product by the name of EZAP365. Today's demo is intended just to be a high-level overview of the product and its capabilities. By no means is it all-inclusive of what's capable with the application in its entirety. It's been a few minutes going through some slides here and then we'll jump right into the application uh, demonstration. First of all, I want to highlight what makes this different from a product company. Our invoice automation product is entirely based on the Office 365 platform. Hosted in Azure, we leverage the Microsoft ecosystem wherever we can, and we integrate with other products whenever necessary, as well as just to extend the functionality of our application. So uh, here at Dynamic Point, we construct this application. It is hosted within the Office 365 or on-premise SharePoint um, ecosystem. So it is deployed as a SharePoint app. We focus on the functionality and the integration with the various ERP applications. SharePoint is providing us the security, the branding, document management, and the framework for the product. When it comes to workflow, we're leveraging Microsoft Flow. Flow gives us the capability to integrate with other third-party products, whether that be other document management systems, project management systems, things of that nature. From a mobile application perspective, we're using Power Apps, and I will highlight some of those today. And then when it comes for the need to gather additional information, such things as a new vendor request, or maybe um, obtaining more details on an invoice, we leverage Microsoft Forms. Some highlights of the features and functionality of the product. You could receive an invoice in various methods. I'll highlight some today of the more popular methods, but it ultimately is receiving this invoice in various methods and it's coming into a document library. We use vendor templates for assignment, integrated OCR, we support PO and non-PO matching, so it could be related to purchase orders in the application or independent invoices that are just being processed for the first time. We have a concept of category functionality in our product that allows us to support different accounting and GL structures. We leverage Microsoft Flow for workflow, as well as webhooks to other third-party products. New vendor request automation, and we integrate with most major ERP products. As far as the invoice process that uh, applies not only to our product, but that I'll be going through today in the demonstration, is there's these four major steps. The first is the receipt of the invoice. This is going to be coming from the vendor. It could come in different methods. It could come in via email. So the vendor could email it directly to us. We do support check requests. So maybe that invoice is going to a manager within your organization. You want them to submit it via a check request form. We could submit this from an online um, portal page submission, which I'll highlight today as well. Mobile upload, if someone is receiving the invoice and they want to uh, attach it via their phone and submit it for processing. As well as if you're receiving it in the mail, um, we could support scanning and upload directly from your scanner to that library. The second step in the, in the process is the processing of the invoice. Here's where OCR is performed. We recognize key characters and fields from the invoice. We assign vendor templates that give us such things as default accounts, support PO match to look up the various POs that exist already within your ERP application, as well as just account assignment for those invoices that are not related to purchase orders. Next is the workflow. We'll route this for approval. The approval can be conducted from email, as well as Microsoft Teams, as well as your mobile app. And the last and final step in the process is the integration. After the invoice has gone through the approval process, it is integrated in a real-time fashion to the ERP product, passing all the applicable vendor and account information for that transaction being created. So there's no export or import, anything of that nature. We are creating that in a real-time fashion using the uh, web services of the ERP product. Enough of the PowerPoint, let's go right to the product. So what we have here is a SharePoint Office 365, or on-premise, like I mentioned, we do support both, dashboard that has been targeted to someone within your AP organization. So they would be the primary users of this. As far as the look and the feel, the branding, all of this is entirely up to you. This does get deployed to your site. All the data is hosted within your Office 365 or on-premise SharePoint system. We're not storing any of that information on our servers. And the look and feel is entirely up to you. So obviously I have my um, demo environment here branded to dynamic point colors, which are more of the orange that match our website. But you would obviously want to match this with your corporate branding. I have some calls to action here. I have an invoice processing queue to see those invoices that have been submitted that are currently going through the workflow process. 
I also have a preliminary approval for those that maybe fall outside my normal process that I just want to do an extra step of approval on. Again, the workflow and the configuration of that is entirely up to you. We are using Microsoft Flow, which is very flexible as far as the various steps and the approval process escalations. And the last call to action I here, have here is to see those that have already integrated. Like I mentioned, we are not doing an export and import of these invoices. It is a real-time integration where we call the web services of the ERP product and create that invoice in a real-time fashion after the final approval. If I scroll down a little bit, I see some integrated Power BI uh, reports that we've displayed here. The first one shows unapproved invoices by vendor total, so I could see the invoices that are assigned to vendors who are awaiting the payment and the totals belonging to them. I also have a bar graph here showing unapproved invoices by aging, so maybe some are stuck in the system and I want to investigate those further. So that's the overview of the dashboard. Next, we're going to go directly into that first step of the invoice processing um, process that we want to cover today and that is the submission of the invoice from the vendor. So I, I mentioned we're gonna cover some of the more popular ones today. So probably the most popular option is email submission. So I'm just gonna open my inbox here. I have an email going to apautomation at dynamicpoint.com. That is the inbox that we have established for invoice submission. This would obviously be an inbox in your environment that you want um, to receive those invoices from vendors to kick off this approval process and the processing of those invoices. Put a subject to consulting invoice and I have attached a dynamic point invoice for approval. I'm gonna go ahead and send this. That's gonna kick off a lot of things of which we'll step into a bit after going through various submission methods. The next method I wanted to show you is the concept of a portal page. So here I have a vendor invoice submission page on my website filled out some various information as far as my company name, my email, number, the approval amount. I'll select the file. Maybe put a comment. Submit it that way. The thing to note is any of these methods I show you are all going into the same direction. They're all going into the same inbox. Um, which is going to kick off the review of these as well as the processing of them. So it doesn't matter how they get in there, uh, they're all going to the same place. So next let's talk about um, mobile options for uploading invoices. So we've already talked about email and the concept of a web portal. Another option is uploading this directly from our mobile app. So I'll go ahead and bring over my mobile app. So this is using the OneDrive application and I'm going to go ahead and add a new invoice and I'm just going to take a picture of it. So I'm going to drag the invoice over here on my desk. As you can see it's the same invoice coming from Dynamic Point. I'm going to go ahead and take a picture of that. We're going to say done. As you can see here it's defaulted various fields um, such as metadata from the invoice as far as who's submitting it, the company I belong to. I could change any of these fields or just go ahead and submit it. That would be an easy upload process. The other concept that we mentioned is the idea of a check request. If I go over to my Power App application, I could show you a sample check request. So this would be more applicable to like a manager receiving the invoice and you wanna have a form by which they um, fill out that submits the invoice to the approval process. Again, I'll fill out some details on the invoice. Select the vendor, select the date, terms of the invoice, the amount, $5,000. The next set of fields, these are entirely up to you based on configuration. So these are the items that I'm categorizing my uh, invoices by that ultimately will determine the account assignment, such things as state, division, and an expense category. Of course, again, I could take a picture of it and go ahead and submit that check request. So again, just met different methods for getting the invoice from the vendor, whether that's going directly via email into the queue, from the portal site, from a mobile upload, or from a check request form that I want a manager to fill out to submit the invoice. So enough of the various invoice submission methods. Next, we wanna go into the um, actual processing of these. So I'm gonna go back to our dashboard, click on the processing queue. So a lot of things went on in the background when those invoices were submitted. One, the OCR was performed, so I've recognized some key fields. 
and brought them into our application as well as assigned vendor templates. So if I go into our product here, I can see I have some new invoices that are submitted today. If I were to expand these items, I could see the line items of the accounts that have been established based on the template that got predefined for this. So in this case, I recognized who the invoice was coming from and I already had a template set up. For any reason I need to create or modify any of these template features, I most certainly can. Template is nothing more than defaults, so I could change any of the allocations, select different um, expense types, or allocate to additional accounts. If I want to see the invoice, of course I could just click on the link, which brings open the image of the invoice that has been submitted. If I am doing a PO match, so the, this example here, as you can see, I'm assigning the accounts to it. That basically means that there's not a PO that has already been predetermined. But if this invoice is for a PO match, I have a PO match example here. If I were to click on the new receipt match, we actually query the ERP application live, and we could select the line items that this invoice applies to. So I could receive a couple of this line item, say 20 there and add those directly to the invoice as well. So again, either whether it's coming from a PO or we're assigning the accounts directly, um, either is supported by our application. The next step is the workflow. So after it's come into the product and we've talked about the processing of it, performing OCR, which occurred in the background, allocation templates, which defaulted the accounts for us, um, we're next gonna kick off a workflow process. And I'm doing this as a two-step process. You could automatically kick off the workflow if you want. I wanted to show you, the, obviously, the allocations before I initiated the workflow. But if you wanted to, the workflow process could be immediately kicked off when the invoice is submitted. So you can see here it's been submitted. We've updated the status on the invoice. Now the workflow process is gonna kick off various forms of review. And you could probably hear the notifications coming in on my mobile device for the approval. So let's go ahead and show the different methods for approval. If I open up the email that I just received, you can see here I have a new invoice that is ready for review and approval based on that. Of course, this doesn't have all the details here, and before I approve or reject it, I may want to see those. So I could click on the link. It's going to redirect them to our application and show this full page. Now, depending on the reviewer's permission, they may have edit capabilities of this invoice. You could see the notes of the previous approvers and who has already reviewed this. I could see a full audit history of every step in the workflow, when it was submitted, who else approved it. As well, of course, see the invoice itself. So email is one method. We also mentioned other things such as Microsoft Teams. Microsoft Teams has a flow app or add-in. And I could see this invoice directly from here. So again, here's the details. I could check whether or not I want to approve or reject it, as well as review it. If I review it, it's going to go ahead and again, open up that same page. So we'll go ahead and bring that over so you can see it. It's that same page on which I could perform all of the potential edit capabilities if a user can edit an invoice as it's going through a review process, change such things as the allocations, maybe the reviewers are responsible for assigning things like department and expense type, all that is possible. The last method that I'd like to highlight today, again, I'm gonna bring up my mobile device here. So Microsoft, um, Flow also has a mobile application. So I can see here I have a new um, invoice that's ready for approval. Let's go ahead and select that one. Again, or approve or reject it directly from my mobile or click on the link. By clicking on this link, I see all the details of the invoice. Again, I could view the attachment, make any edits directly from my mobile device. So all just different methods by which you could process um, and review and approve invoices as they're going through the workflow. So the last step in this is after it goes through the workflow process, the invoice is integrated directly with the ERP application. As I mentioned, we do support numerous ERP applications, so I don't have enough time to show you all of them. Um, one thing I do wanna highlight is just bring back open the PowerPoint presentation. So again, our advantage from a company is that we're leveraging all this functionality that is being provided to us by Office 365. 
So if you're comparing us to other products, such things as the building blocks that are part of invoice automation, ERP integration, the repository, workflow, and OCR, we're really focusing on that ERP integration and the functionality that corresponds to it. All the rest of the functionality as far as the repository, the workflow, and OCR is being provided to us by this framework. So it's very similar to an app that resides on your mobile phone. Obviously it's doing key aspects of the uh, process and supporting functionality, but so much is coming from the mobile device itself, and that's very similar to our application. Thank you so much for joining us today, and please contact us if you have any questions.